I was born and raised in Germany, but most of my family lives on the Philippines. Since I know how life looks there, compared to growing up here in Europe, it's a completely different world, even though it's the same planet that we share. That's why I want to leave something behind everywhere I go. I want to share my passion and my knowledge with the people, to spread positivity and understanding in this world. I am a breakdancer, a b-boy. And I am a physiotherapist. The best that I can give is the combination of what I do, breaking and physiotherapy. I have been dancing since I was a child. From ballet to contemporary to ballroom. But breaking? Um, I love the most because I can express myself and feel totally free at the same time. I've gotten many injuries. I was stopped from dancing. So I decided to become a physiotherapist myself and started Urban Dance Hub. When I met Jensu, we joined forces to realize our vision. I believe that breaking, or the hip-hop culture in general, can bridge the gap between these two worlds. I think that breaking can help you in all aspects of life. It helps you to stay healthy, to keep working on yourself, becoming a better dancer and a better human. It empowers you. We travel to Brazil, Equatorial Guinea and the Philippines for an international exchange project. In each country we gave a certification course in dance medicine and organized a hip-hop event to support the local community. Mabuhay sa Pilipinas. Welcome to the Philippines. My cousin's home in Makati, Metro Manila, Barangay Sincamas. This is my family. What the Philippines are like? Well, the people are said to be the nicest on earth. And with more than 7,600 islands, this country has a lot to offer. You can see culture, fresh food, beautiful nature and paradisic islands everywhere you go. But the gap between rich and poor is extremely huge. It's much harder to afford education and basic health care. This is why we want to give our support to the local communities with everything we got. Once we got here, we met B-Boy Mouse, who founded the Kapayapaan project. 
They teach basic school subjects and hip-hop culture for free to children. Through hip-hop events in some of Manila's most dangerous ghettos, they help to create peace between rival gangs. Here in the uh, Philippines, we have a lot of big gangs in different states, but most of the, those gangs are, are heard by, by people because they're all rappers. You know? Young people listen to, the, to those kind of music, so they're getting influenced. When you go to the areas that are dangerous, you will feel it straight away. Um, but those violence are now becoming smaller and we're going to try to integrate everybody. We also got to meet Luke, who is a teacher at Kapayapaan Project. The project started in 2016, and I started with the project as a teacher. So I worked like that for two years with the project. Our first setting was, it was just on the street. You know, with the tricycles and the cars passing by in Marikina, we just placed a linoleum mat and then there is this one blackboard, and then the kids would just sit there. Back then, we had no funding, we had, we had no big classrooms. These are seven and nine year old kids. You know, the struggles they face every day going to school without money, you no know, uh, laundering their own clothes, young as they are. This is the, where reality hits you. You have one children you find out is a rape victim of her own grandfather. And you have children who are not fed three days in a row because their parents are like drug addicts. You know, how do you deal with that? You, you say you're a Kapayapan project, but you cannot do anything to protect your own students with, with what's happening. One of the kids in Baclaran, he, he witnessed how his father died. So he saw the policeman shot his father in front of him. So, so the whole team had a conversation, what, what do we do? Um, because the kid looks so traumatized, he hasn't even spoken anything. So remember we teach breaking and dance in general to our kids, right? Part of the stuff we do in the project is involve them in different dance events. Um, so this was a struggle because the next day the kid is about to go in a dance battle, in a b-boy battle but the day before his father was shot in front of him. But he still went to the dance battle and danced. of Kapayapaan, he pushed himself and he was a top notcher in his class. So he received medals after his graduation and I spoke to him, I said, what are your goals in life? He said, I don't want to be rich, I don't want to be famous, I just want to be like B-Boy Mouse, travel the world with dance. So I think that's also one of the success of the project is to be able to give the kids not just classes, not just dancing, not just competitions and everything, but to help them in their daily struggles in, in life. The next stop was Equatorial Guinea. For this trip, we brought Mike with us. <laughs> Mike, just like Jenzo, also grew up in Germany, but his roots are here.
When Mike first came here six years ago, he founded the first b-boy crew in the whole country, which is the Sniper Crew. We meet b-boy Berno, who is also a member of Sniper Crew, and invited us to his home. ¿Estás grabando? Sí. Eh, bueno, saludos. Aquí estáis en, en mi casa eh, con, con mi colega, mi hermano, Vivo y Rob. Esto es el salón. Si, si podéis venir, la cocina está aquí. Es mi, mi sobrino, el, el hijo de mi, mi hermano mayor. Es Vivo y también como yo, baila. Y aquí está mi cuarto. Esto es poco que hay, algo de graffiti, hip hop, como podéis ver, eh, el espíritu siempre está ahí. Sniper, culo, pues, amor al grupo, sí está ahí. Breakdance, como podéis ver, intento hacer un poco de todo, ¿no? graffiti, cosas así. Mm -hmm. Y ahí está la madre de todo, la cultura hip hop, está ahí, las no. Sí. Nice. B-boy. B-boy. Mamá, ven, te vamos a entrevistar. Ven, te vamos a entrevistar. Bueno, falta comer. ¿no? Buenas, eh, aquí está mi madre, eh, la, la señora de la casa actualmente. Y son, o sea, es madre de cinco, yo soy el cuarto. Y por, por desgracia, los demás no están aquí, han salido. Y ella va a decir un poquito de, de cómo nos lleva aquí. Sí, casi, estoy casi súper, súper contenta. Cuando mi niño empezó eso, casi me estaba molestando un poco. Pero cuando lo estudié un poco, vi que estaba en un buen camino. Desde aquel día hasta hoy, estoy muy contenta. The hip hop culture in Equatorial Guinea is still very young. But there are many dance crews always around, and especially the b-boys are going strong. Esta es la, la primera vez que tenemos una experiencia así con vivos internacionales que vienen de tan lejos para venir a compartir cosas aquí con nosotros. Actualmente en Guinea solamente hay dos grupos de break. Es algo nuevo aquí en Guinea. Vale, vale, vale. Nosotros, como ha dicho Lemar, éramos simples bailarines callejeros, en plan no bailábamos solo porque vemos y nos, nos gusta y eso no, pero no sabíamos realmente qué es el rey todavía, qué es el b-boy. La influencia de Jimmy, Mike y Matrix son los que nos han ido enseñando cómo hay que vivir realmente, que el break no solamente es bailar, sino que también es el corazón. Aquí en África realmente no consideran el baile como algo, como algo en plan arte, o consideran como, como drogaditos, alguien que fuma en plan... lo tomamos muy en serio lo que es el break y queremos que en un futuro no muy lejano que se, que se dé a conocer el break aquí en Guinea si es que nos podéis ayudar con gusto lo aceptaríamos y estamos dispuestos a trabajar también gracias
Salve, mano, Leco Satisfação, mano, Nato Assim te disse o senhor Que enquanto a vida A esperança A esperança Aonde é que está a esperança? Será que foi perdida ou vendida nas esquinas A preço de banana? Não se engana, não deixe se iludir Com a falsa política pregada por aí Que ironia, poluição sonora E dizem que a cultura anda com a nudez de fora E nas escolas, a falsa educação Transformando crianças no futuro da nação a inocência sendo contaminada em plena luz do dia Nas salas de aula, corrupção, rouba da nação O povo pobre sofre enganação A podridão está tomando conta do jeito que está Como Sodoma e Gomorra Ó oh, meu senhor, proteja as crianças Enquanto houver inocência, ainda há esperança This is G, Giovanni de Gregori we got to meet Jay during his travels to Europe, and we became close friends. Gorgine. Now we meet him at his home, in Caxias do Sul, na Zona Norte, Vila IP. I trabalho há nove anos em projetos sociais, como Cama em São José, certo? Um projeto onde tem capoeira, tem, tem dança, tem grafite, tem música. We accompany Jé to the Camille Saint José to see how he is working in his daily life. Quando eu conheci o Hip Hop no Centro Educativo, um projeto social, é, foi três, três oficinas. E depois, nunca mais parei, porque me apaixonei. Quando eu estava com 15 anos, 16, quando eu tinha que sair do projeto, eu lembrei como foi importante é, eu ver o Hip Hop. Para mim, até hoje, estar, sabe? Eu queria fazer isso, eu queria continuar em projeto social, porque eu fui num caminho positivo, um caminho bom, por causa do hip hop. E, então eu pensei, posso talvez ajudar ou incentivar, sabe, motivar outras crianças a continuar no hip hop também, como eu. Exemplo, a importância da Sofia como Big Girl aqui em Caxias do Sul, acho que foi muito interessante porque aqui no Rio Grande do Sul não, não, não existe muitas Big Girls. Eu tenho a Renata e a Renata assim, faz um, um trabalho muito bom com as meninas aqui. Em projetos sociais existe muitas meninas que dançam, breaking, que querem começar a dançar breaking, mas não tem referência. Não tem pessoas, outras big girls. E a Sofia estando aqui também mostrando que a big girls também, meninas também dançam no chão, fazem footwork, fazem freeze, power moves. Hip Hop mostrou para nós um jeito de ser feliz, sabe? No meio dessa periferia, sabe? No meio dessa, é, desse sistema, sabe, que é difícil, então é, eu fico muito feliz porque
Não é forte, né? Para mim foi... Foi muito mágico, sabe? Porque... Quando... Quando eu encontrei o hip hop pra mim foi... Muito especial, porque eu tava numa fase, tipo, muito difícil, assim, da vida e... Comecei, sabe, no meio de pessoas usando drogas, assim, e... e a gente não tinha outro lugar, não tinha sala pra treinar e... Eu treinava, tipo, na rua, sabe? E eu sei que as crianças hoje, como o projeto, como o Kami e todos os outros projetos que existem, tem crianças com realidade muito piores que, que a minha, que eu passei. A minha esperança é sempre de poder uh, mostrar para essas crianças que a mesma coisa que o Hip Hop mostrou para mim, que é um jeito de ser feliz. É muito simples. É isso aí, né? É isso aí que eu tenho para falar. Sim. Sim? Dancing or breaking helps our feelings to feel more like even just you're listening to music and when it's like boom, 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 boom and Especialmente, el baile significa unión. Es una manera de conocer más gente, hacer familia, hacer amistades. You really need some friends to survive. Yeah. It's really hard, and you know, here in the Philippines as well, like, ah, man. A través do hip hop, uh, minha vida mudou muito, sabe? Muitas pessoas me ajudaram a ver minha vida. Então, sempre estamos juntos, ou treinando, ou conversando. Es una manera de unir a a distintos tipos de personas, de distintas razas, de distintos, distintos países.
crear algo que venga de tu interior, así enseñarlo al público y hacerles entender que esto es lo que te gusta, que esto es lo que no te gusta. Y el hip hop nos trae como respeto, amor, unión. La danza está creciendo en nuestro país y jóvenes de diferentes edades la practican en diferentes modalidades. Para fomentar esta cultura, el Centro Cultural Ecuatoguineano junto con los fundadores de la organización Urban Health procedentes de Alemania han organizado un taller de fisioterapia que tiene como objetivo es que sean menos lesiones en los bailarines de breakdance y de hip hop y que la gente sepa qué pueden hacer para prevenir lesiones y eh, si ya tienen lesiones, cómo se puede recuperar al máximo. Resaltar que los graduados de este seminario, con tres días de duración, tendrán la facultad de ser instructores en prevención y tratamiento de lesiones de los bailarines. With the help of the local dance communities, we organized a three days workshop and a big hip hop event in each country. The Café con Breaking, the Hip Hop Equatorial, and the Life is a Beach Island Jam. Many obstacles paved our way. There is a tradition called Bayanihan in the Philippines. It means something like unity. For example, many Filipinos in the province, they live in bamboo huts. If one habitant of the village wants to move to another place, the whole village is gonna gather and help him move by putting large bamboo sticks under the whole house and carrying it entirely to the new place. This night we experience Bayanihan firsthand. The whole b-boy community gathered after work and just with cell phone lights we cemented the dance floor on our own. In each country, over 30 participants registered for the workshops. You know, like the meniscus is like the airbag in the car, you know? It can take the pressure, it can protect you, but in the best case, you don't even need it. Yeah, that's the best case, it's just sliding around, you know? It's just sliding. Acabé 
área muscular de frente. I'm so very proud for myself. <laughs> I'm a teacher now, bro. Un día de muchos ejercicios y ahora tenemos hamburguesas. Pero es un día cenar, vamos a cultivar para que las hamburguesas ya no se Sí. On the last day of our certification course, you could already feel the tension in the air because everybody was excited for the final event. A healthy human has a thousand wishes, but a sick human has only one, to be healthy. A healthy body is the foundation for basically everything in life. Especially for dancers, knowledge about the human body is key. Getting injured and not being able to dance anymore can really make you lose your life perspective. We empower dancers and enable them to take care of themselves so that they can dance forever. In the last 18 months, we educated 65 urban dance health teachers and more than 300 participants in our open workshops. In hip hop, there is the philosophy of each one teach one, sharing is caring. 
These are the values we want to transport. There are two things in life that never decrease by getting shared. Knowledge and love. Check this out. 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 Check this out.